So it was actually right here. He was standing like right here where he took the photo. Obviously a lot has changed. I'm just trying to like imagine what he would think when he was walking through this promenade. Remember, this guy's from like Binghua, right? Back then, not Binghua of today, Binghua back then. So, and to come here and to live in Paris, and Nice, and all the other places, like I wonder what was on his mind. And I really regret not asking him when he was alive. So I wanted to do this again to kind of honor him because four or five years ago, almost five years ago, I came to France and I did that video that you hopefully saw but, uh, or didn't see. Check it out now if you haven't seen it. Clearly a lot has changed and tried my best to kind of get it all together but it's really difficult because there's benches right here. The bench that was right here is no longer there. So it's hard to kind of frame it, right? The difference in lens but I tried my best. Um, the promenade has definitely changed since my grandfather has been here, but the crazy thing is just a few feet down that way, there's a Vietnamese chef cooking on the beachfront. Okay, so this is crazy. Axel and I sat down at the, uh, you know, one of the beach places, and guess what we see? Boom, flipped over. Vietnamese, right there. Joseph Wing, Huynh Phuc. Yeah, man. All right, so this isn't my first time eating uh, Phu Gua because I just ate it. Uh, the camera wasn't on, so we'll do it again, okay? So technically, this is my second time, I believe. Maybe my third, I don't know. But uh, you take some bread, of course, like this. Oh my god, take some bread. Put it on like this. Spread it, all right? Get some fat on there, you need the fat. And eat it. Well, it melts like butter, but it tastes very ducky. So it's like duck butter. Mm. It's so good. It reminds me of a get uh, white, but less smoky. Mm. This wasn't the only location that he was in in Nice. Uh, he went to a few other places, and uh, let's see if we can find some of those places as well today. Let's go. Okay, so we found the Jaguar statue. Unfortunately, it is gated off right here. And uh, I tried begging security to let me in. Axel actually did it, because you know I don't speak French, but they said, no, we don't care. Maybe I can just kind of stand down here like this. And it's okay. I'm very disappointed. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm like, I'm tearing up a little bit because, because I've been wanting to do this for so long. Whoa, this hotel is so fancy. Okay guys, uh, we made it back. This is the first time I'm seeing the uh, hotel room. Wow, check out this door handle guys, look, look at this. It's like a rose. I've never seen a door handle like that before. Okay, and you go in. Okay, nice. Wow, look at this. You walk into this lovely bathroom here. That's really awesome. It's perfect size too. And uh, I love how they have like these the up close ones so you can see uh, your tears when you look at yourself in the mirror at night and wonder where your life has been. Shower, amazing, magnificent, tall, uh, basketball player approved. Uh, and then this is really awesome. Check this out, guys. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Europe. Welcome to France. That's what I've been missing in my life, living in America. I cannot go back. I cannot go back. I need a bidet. All right, I need a bidet. And I love how, look, ooh, so romantic. You can take a shower and it'll be like a show. But uh, I'm gonna be here alone, so anyways. Magnificent bed. Oh my god, so white, so clean, white roses everywhere. Look, look, at, look at the attention to details. Look, 
Oh my god! Look at this. That uh, white rose right here. All right. Well, why do so many? Why do you need so many roses? You know. And check out the view. Balcony. Look at this. Wow. Look at this, man. Europe. France is right there. The south of France. So this is Axel's room. His room is interesting because when you walk in, right away, you see the sink. I love this actually. It's very uh, uh, special. We found a spot. There's all these little restaurants along the corners. Uh, a lot of seafood options because we're right by the beach. And of course, I have to go with some oysters. Uh, I love oysters. Actually, they're my favorite food, believe it or not. Now you know. But here in France, you have to open it up by yourself. Uh, just kidding. Just kidding. They're already open. <laughs> it's a style. I'm not going to obviously um, talk too much about this because a lot of you have already had oysters. But if you haven't before, what are you waiting for? Go out and try them. And by the way, you need a little fork like this to eat oysters. Some lemon I'd like. By the way, guys, comment down below. How do you guys like to eat your oysters? <laughs> mm, oh my god. Oh, it's so slimy, but it's so so flavorful. Oysters are the most flavorful things I've ever eaten. I just try, I'm trying to imagine, like, this is what I recommend for you guys to do. Talk to your elders, ask them, where the hell did you go? And how did you feel? You know, before it's too late. So just, just engage and talk, because if the history is lost with them, when they die, then it's lost forever, right? So I wish, I really, really wish I asked my, my grandfather more about his journey here in France. Because I mean, well, what did he feel when he was here? I'm pretty sure he was excited. Pretty sure, as I'm, as I am. But I'm more Nyakwe than he was, so of course I'm a little bit more excited. Of course. So we got to go to the airport right now. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Comment down below. Give this video a like. I'll see you soon. I'm still in Europe. Write me. Goodbye for now. <laughs>